Hello students, in this video we'll show basic field axioms of addition on the real numbers. First, we're going to claim that if alpha and beta are real numbers, this implies that alpha plus beta is equal to beta plus alpha. Now remember that alpha and beta are Dedekind cuts, which means I need to show two things. I need to show that alpha plus beta is contained in beta plus alpha, and I need to show that beta plus alpha is contained in alpha plus beta because these are sets of rational numbers. So we need to prove both of these things to prove that addition is commutative. It's a commutative property of addition. So let's do it. So actually, this is going to be a very symmetric proof, so I'm going to do the following. I'm going to let r be in the set alpha plus beta. This implies that r is equal to alpha plus beta for a in alpha and b in beta for some pair. Now, that also tells me r is equal to b plus alpha since addition is commutative on the rationals, since plus is commutative on q. From our construction of the rational numbers, we proved that already. So that says that r has the form something in beta plus something in alpha, so that r is in beta plus alpha. So we've established that alpha plus beta is a subset of beta plus alpha. And the opposite inclusion is identical. I'll just start with this over here, r equals b plus a for b and beta and a and alpha, and I'll commute the rational numbers, and I'll conclude that r is equal to a plus b. So I'll just say similarly, similarly what? Similarly, we have that beta plus alpha is contained in alpha plus beta, and we have equality. So that alpha plus beta for real numbers is beta plus alpha. So that's our proof of commutativity. Now we can move on to our proof of something similar, which is associativity. So associativity follows something similar. If alpha, beta, and gamma are real numbers, then alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to alpha plus beta plus gamma. And again, we'll see that this is exactly the same proof as before. So the proof, we'll just do it quickly so we can get to something that's more interesting. So here's the proof of this fact. The proof of this fact is if I pick an R that's in alpha plus beta plus gamma, that means that R has the form A plus B plus C, where A is in alpha, B is in beta, and C is in gamma. Then I can associate on Q. This is equal to A plus B plus C, and this is just the associativity on Q. And therefore, R is in where? That says that R is in the set alpha plus beta plus gamma, and therefore we have the following inclusion. We have that alpha plus beta is contained in alpha plus beta plus gamma, and then the opposite inclusion is identical. Similarly, Similarly what? Similarly, alpha plus beta plus gamma is contained in alpha plus beta plus gamma, and we have our proof that the real numbers are associative with respect to addition. So we have our commutative proof over here. So this is commutative over here. This is associative. Now I need to show that there's also an additive identity, and we have a good candidate for that, so let's use it. So let me define. I'm going to define zero star. Zero star is going to be the set of P and Q such that P is less than zero, just the ordinary rational number zero, which we know exists from our previous construction. Now, this is a Dedekind cut, and this Dedekind cut corresponds to the rational number zero. So, I would like to show, I claim, that alpha plus zero star is equal to alpha. Okay? So, we have to prove two inclusions, right? So let's suppose, so let's let r be in alpha plus zero star. This implies that r is equal to a for some a in a plus p for some p in zero star. Now, this is strictly less than a plus zero by our ordering properties of the rational numbers since p is less than zero. 
And so this is equal to a by the fact that zero is the additive identity on the rational numbers. So over here, I'm using ordering on Q. So that's ordering on Q. And this is identity on Q, identity on Q. So since we've built Q already, we can exploit the field properties of Q to deduce the field properties of R. So this is A, and so we've just shown that this is actually, so R is less than A, so that says that alpha plus zero star is a subset of alpha. Now we need to let alpha be given, so let's let R be in alpha, okay? Then there is an R tilde. which is bigger than R, and R tilde is in alpha. So now what does that tell me? That tells me that R, til R minus R tilde is less than zero. So R, R minus R tilde is less than zero, which says that R minus R tilde is in zero star. And now what? So now R, is equal to R tilde plus R minus R tilde, because the R tilde is just going to cancel here. And so that shows me that R is of the form that something that's in alpha plus something that's in zero star. So our conclusion from this is that alpha is contained in alpha plus zero star. So our conclusion is that alpha is equal to alpha plus zero star. And so this zero star is the additive identity. So we have the additive identity over here. Now, in our next video, we'll show that the additive inverse exists. And that's substantially more complex. We'll save that for another video. Thank you very much.